Ladies and gentlemen, what do we have here? The most toxic gaming community of all time. People think it's Modern Warfare, whatever they gotta say, but in five years from now, everybody will say that this game, NBA 2K, has the most brain dead and most toxic players ever to exist in any gaming server of all time. Now, you can say what you want, you can defend your favorite YouTubers, but be real with yourself for one second. Look around you, right? We have a person, not gonna mention his name, it's gonna be on the screen, who hits legend first, right? What happened instantly? Everybody hates on him, everybody's in the comments, you know, boosting, uh, just, just, you know, madness, right? Just saying, <laughs> just saying things that are irrelevant to what he's accomplished, right? I'm not gonna get into it, but you guys know what I'm talking about, and you guys see what I'm talking about on the screen, right? So. This is exactly why this is the most toxic community because when one person from a certain community, a certain console, you know, brings that that standard meaning being that top rep, that legend on, you know, that le console, right? They should be praised, but you know what? They're obviously not. They're slandered. They're brought down because of, you know, being accused of boosting this and that. I mean, I'm yet to see any proof. I don't really care about it, but uh, I mean, I don't. Like I said, it's just too much, you know, bringing down the community. It's every year. Every year someone gets top rep, you're accused of boosting, you're accused of, you know, playing on different servers, using glitches. It's just madness on this community, man. It really is, to be honest. But this is what these fools fail to understand is that if you're going to put so much energy into slandering and bring someone else down, because just because you want to, right? You could put the same energy in getting top rep. <laughs> like, is that simple? Does anybody understand that? I'm gonna say it again. <laughs> you could put the same energy that you're putting in to harassing, slandering, and bringing someone down and put that energy into being top rep. You do it yourself. You grind those days all day, all night, every day, all every night, right? Do that. Become top rep. What's the whole point of slandering someone else because you're not at that position? That's what you have to explain to these 2K weirdos. That's the issue with this community. You have to talk like a, like, you're like as if I'm talking to a baby when you talk to these guys, man. I make a looking for group post for a big man, right? They come in the party slow. I ask them, yo, what's your height? What's your overall? What am I hearing? What am I hearing, yo? Yo, what? What? What do you say that again? Say that again? Like, come on, man. Like, this community is just like. It's just full of the most brain dead players, man. I don't know how to support it. That's just how it is. Like, you could disagree with me if you want. I'd be glad to debate you in the comments. Not, I'm not even gonna debate. I'm not gonna sit around typing. Screw all that. But I'm saying you could, you could be, you know, be in the comments, express your own opinions. But there's really nothing you can say against me though, because it's like everything I'm saying is facts. And if you don't believe it, you're one of the, you're one of the brain deads. You're one of the zombies on 2K. You have to be if you disagree because if you don't agree then you're just just as slow as everybody else on this damn game man it's crazy but i don't think it's gonna 2k21 has to be sick man you know the new consoles the xbox scarlet ps5 2k21 has to be that next gen that generation game changer like 2k14 was when it came out on the xbox one and the ps4 it has to be on that next level ish right it has to and hopefully this community doesn't bring it down like every year they do they complain about the shooting complain about the steals it's just complaining complaining every year nobody's adapting i mean you look at cod the cod community they've been died down after the old modern warfare days they had an issue modern warfare there's issues with the camping with the maps the the hud right there's no toxicity going on there's no Oh, devs, there's no, like, none, none of that Ronnie 2K bashing and Mike Wang stuff. There's none of that, you know, calling them crazy names and harassing them. It's just having a friendly conversation in the comments saying that we need this, we need this fixed. This should be fixed. That should be fixed. That's all you need to do. There's no room for calling Ronnie 2K a terrorist, right? Like, let's be honest. Like, that's, that's... <laughs> And a lot of you take this game way too seriously and half of you aren't even good at the game. That's what to understand. This game was just a game that just to push out 
so that they can start making 2K21. It's obvious they didn't care about making this game, right? It's just it's just like a little you know 2.0 version of 2K19. It's just something to lay us off, you know, just give us something, right? They can't just not give us anything. They're just gonna give us a game, a half-finished game, so that they can work on the real project. Um, I'm sure 2K21 would be sick, because otherwise, it just wouldn't make sense to drop it if it's not sick, right? Because next-gen, it has to be. But what you guys need to understand is that when you're not good at the game, you shouldn't be getting toxic over losses, right? And if you are getting t <laughs> mad over losses, you need to put the game down, right? You, what you need to do is, if you feel like you're good at the game, you're probably not, whoever's watching this, you're probably not good at the game. But if you feel like you're good at the game personally, what you need to do is start up a YouTube channel, start up a Twitch channel, start up a Mixer channel, one of those three, or all of those three, it doesn't matter. But if you feel like you're good, start streaming, gather an audience, and you can become the next, I don't know, Poor Boy Sin, Chalk DF, Ticino, Hike the Tank, I don't know who you want to be, it doesn't matter who you want to be. But start doing that instead of being toxic and grinding, getting a 90% win percentage, and you don't even have a single video uploaded on your YouTube channel. What sense does that make at all? Why sweat the game and not have any publicity? Pub <laughs> I'm stuttering, Jesus Christ. Publicity over the game. It just doesn't make sense to be sweating like that, and you're not even gaining from it, right? You're just being a ch sweaty tryhard who's toxic. And that everybody blocks, right? Do you really want to be that guy, or do you want to be that guy that everybody follows and everybody's like, oh yeah, that guy, that guy's good at the game. He's not any toxic-ish, you know. He hoops, right? You want to obviously be that guy. You don't want to be, you know, the guy that complains to uh, Mike Wang and Ellie 2K when they don't get top rep, right? You don't want to be that guy who <laughs> who sits on the game and they're on Twitter talking about, oh my jump shot is isn't hitting. Uh, Unpluckable Hall of Fame doesn't work. Come on. There's two types of people. Pick one. That's all you gotta do. And the next time you go into looking for group posts, the next time you go into a rec center game, the next time you go into a, a part game, or whatever game we're gonna go into, even probably the most toxic game mode, I'll start team up. If you go into any of those game modes, just go in knowing that chances are you're probably smarter than a lot of these idiots on 2K. Because... <laughs> When you look at it, it's just, you have to understand, man, like, half these dudes who play 2K, they talk like they have half of their brain blown off, right, by a double barrel. That's how they sound, that's how they operate, that's how they play the game. So, you being toxic isn't going to fix that. You being toxic is just going to put a battery in their back, right? It's just going to gaslight these, these idiots, right? That's just how it works. So, just take that advice, I mean, hey... A lot of you probably, you know, 14, 13, I'm only 17, so it's not like I'm a grown man, you know, elder, giving advice, but compared to, you know, a lot of people play 2K AM, because nowadays it's the 13-year-olds and the 14-year-olds, you know, blowing in the mic, dropping N-bombs, F-bombs, every ball in, in in the dictionary that are, you know, in the parties, and they, they think they're hot shit, but like I said, just take, you know, just feel bad for a lot of these guys who play 2K. That's all I gotta say. Peace out, baby. <laughs> it's holiday season, man. Don't waste your time being toxic. Peace out.